Okay, so you mind tell me about your sign? Uh, yeah, the sign says, Three men don't ask. Three men don't ask. That's pretty simple. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. And then this is the, uh, the threshold for tyranny has been crossed. No, 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 no. And uh, that has to do with Article 10 of the New Hampshire State Constitution. We are all obligated to not be, uh, you know, absurd and slavish living under tyrannical government. Yes, sir. So, simple stuff. It's prohibited. We all broke the law. Breaking the law! Breaking the law! Right. Tell me about your sign. I was actually literally right. Yeah. Literally. It kind of speaks for itself. It pretty much does. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. It's really critical, right? It is. Uh, for for critical thinkers, not for assimilative uh, thinkers that just accept whatever they're told. Right. You gotta think for yourself. Right. With your gut. Yeah, and use Intuition. evidence, evidence, actual data. Absolutely. Yeah. But there's a voice inside everybody that's questioning all this. Of course. Everybody. I have three kids who are teenagers whose lives have come to a complete stop. It's awful. It's awful. Concerts. Uh, all the free and rock. Not, not even gonna have to stand six feet apart in a mob of, 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 of you know, automatons, like yeah. robots. Exactly. That's what they want. They want robots. No, we can just listen to Exactly. Yeah. They want robots. Thanks for Wait, I'm not no robot. Hey. So these are already all fine. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I just saw everybody like hanging around there. Yeah. yeah. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing here with all these papers? What is all this about? I don't know, pretty much. I don't know. You guys, you guys, oh, yeah, these are, are these petitions? petitions? Yes. Oh, okay, all cool. Right. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Fight for liberty. Why are you fighting for liberty? Why? Why? Because you... nobody is going to make me take a chip or a vaccine. And I'm here because my dad can't be here and Ron Paul can't be here. But where are you from? Good-hearted Americans are all fighting for the same. Nobody's going to tell me what to do with my business, my body. This the point one percent of people under the supposed COVID, it's no excuse to keep 99% of the people home, out of fresh air, vitamin D, sunshine. They need to reopen all of New Hampshire now. Now. And I, and I can vouch, she's a, uh, a very large, a uh, very well-known uh, Ron Paul supporter, like fangirl, fan fangirl. Uh, what, if, what about Fauci? Fire Fauci. Uh, Fauci fire? Uh, I need mean, to have a congressional yeah. hearing on a conspiracy oh, yeah. between Fauci and Gates. Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. two yeah. people yeah. a conspiracy yeah. makes. Conspiracy yeah. realist. Conspiracy yeah. realist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Conspiracy yeah. realist. Yeah. It's a real theory that has some, some logic hey, behind it. The New World Order wants to depopulate us. Left to rule over. They will not be killing us with a brand new untested vaccine or any vaccine full of aluminum. Cat trails full of aluminum in the sky. No, no, no. I know. It's crazy. Thank Bill Gates for that. And what's, and, what's, and what's crazy is uh, Fauci hasn't even seen a patient in like over 20 years. Okay, right. so it's just academia, and so who knows what information he doesn't have. And not only that, I've been telling people, look what he's doing in the press conferences with Trump and what he's saying there. But his article that he had, I believe it was February 26th in the New England Institute of uh, Medical Journals. It might be something else than that, but he said that this might be similar to a flu before the numbers started to spike here in the States. And then on March 26th, he actually, in the same, he did another journal, explained the data he was getting from a, a colleague or somebody that was associated with the WHO in China. This woman said, that the way the death rates were is around 1%. That's exactly what it was. But yet he said something totally different. But when he was on uh, Trevor Noah's the, the Daily Show a few weeks ago, 
some of the questions he was asked, he was saying different, um, his responses were different. Almost, no, most people didn't catch up on it. And then he was on uh, Will Smith's uh, thing that he's doing on uh, Snapchat right now. And on there, he, um, he said, two completely different things to similar questions that if, if you actually like listen to it or watch it, you would say, oh, all right, that doesn't make any sense. He's saying that it seems like it's close to the flu with the deaths, but why is he not seeing that out in the public eye when all the news is around for the, for the press briefings at the White House? I always tell people, question everything. You don't, have to, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe anybody else. You don't have to believe anybody who's a conspiracy theorist or conspiracy fact. Question it. Just question everything. That's, that's the key thing. Learn to question everything and then it'll lead you down the trail, down the yellow brick road of the truth. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your name? I'm Steve. Are you handshaking? Footloose, yeah. Footloose. I'm handshaking. All right. Kiss a bearded man. Kiss a man. <laughs> You're immune from coronavirus for life. I will not kiss you, but. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>